putting it all together, graphing, division, factoring, let's take a look at an example that includes all of these with polynomials. Graph f of x equals x cubed minus 2x minus 4. So the first thing I want to do is go to my calculator and type this in to my y equals. I've already done that here. So in y equals, I'm typing in x cubed minus 2x minus 4. The next thing I want to do is go to my table. So second graph. Right now I see numbers that are really big. I'm not going to be able to fit them on my graph. So what I'm going to do is scroll up a little bit until I get some numbers that can fit on the grid that they've provided me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy down the XY table from my calculator onto my worksheet. So I'm going to take a shortcut since I have this snipping tool. Okay. So that's the first thing. Here's my XY table. And now I'm going to plot the points. So negative 2, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 5, 2, 0. And then what I want to do is before I just connect my dots randomly, I want to go back to my calculator and take a look at that graph to see what it should look like. And I want to make sure that when I connect on my paper, on my graph, it looks similar to what's being shown on the calculator. So, And then I'm going to label it with f of x. So if I look at part b, it says, based on the graph, what is the real solution to the equation? x cubed minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. So if it's a real solution, that means it's an x-intercept. Now, an x-intercept can be seen from the graph right here. Or I can look at my table for when y is 0. So my answer is going to be x equals 2. So part C says verify algebraically that it is a zero of f of x. So first I'm going to use the factor or remainder theorem and I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to do 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 4 on my calculator. So second quit to get back out. 2 to the third minus 2 times 2 minus 4 it equals zero, so I know that it works. But the other way that you can verify algebraically is by dividing. So I'm going to set up x cubed. I'm going to use a placeholder of 0x squared minus 2x minus 4, and I'm going to divide it by, I need a polynomial to divide it by. So right now I have x equals 2. So if it's x equals 2 as the 0, the opposite is going to be x minus 2 as the factor. So I'm going to set up tabular division. I have two rows because I have x minus 2. My diagonals are going to be x cubed, 0x squared, negative 2x, and a negative 4 draw in my diag uh, my columns. I always start in the top left. So this is an x cubed. So what times x gave me x cubed? x squared. Once I have a top piece, I multiply. x squared times negative 2 is a negative 2x squared. This diagonal has to add to give me 0x squared. So that means that up top has to be a positive 2x squared. So what times x gives me 2x squared? A positive 2x. Once I have a top piece, I multiply. 2x times negative 2 is going to be a negative 4x. This diagonal has to add to give me a negative 2x, which means that this has to be a positive 2x. So what has to go up top? a positive 2, because a positive 2 times an x gives me a 2x. 
and that a 2 times a negative 2 is a negative 4, which is what I was supposed to have on the outside, so it checks out. Remember, if it wasn't a 0, then x minus 2 wouldn't be a factor, and I would have a remainder. But because I know it's a 0 already, based on my graph, I should have no remainder when I divide. And then part D says, write f of x as a product of a linear factor and a quadratic factor. So f of x, my original function, was x cubed minus 2x minus 4. If I'm going to write this as a linear factor and a quadratic, I'm going to have two parentheses. My linear factor is my divisor, or is that 0 written as a factor instead of a 0, so that's x minus 2. And then my quadratic factor is that quotient, x squared plus 2x plus 2. So actually, part D, we wouldn't have been able to do if we didn't divide in part C. We would have had to divide anyway. So this is written as a product of a linear factor and a quadratic factor. Now, in this particular question, you can't go any further with this quadratic, the x squared plus 2x plus 2. But in some other questions, they may ask you to continue factoring using one of your methods of factoring, like the AM method or the AC method. So this, I hope, explains and takes some things and puts them together. Your graphing, your zeros, your real roots, your x-intercepts, division, factor theorem, and all of those things.